There are a number of ways you can try and secure your online content. First, you can hope that your application development team correctly writes security and session management into the applications they are creating. Unfortunately, we know this is often not the case. Second, some organizations choose to send a centralized security claim to the application, saying what the user can and cannot do. In this case, it's still up to the application to enforce these security claims and manage the application's session. Third, you can externalize authentication, authorization, and session management. When externalizing security, the key is to intercept and examine the requests before they get to the application. You can take two approaches to accomplish this. Deploy an agent or the application itself, or use a gateway service. Both of these techniques have advantages and disadvantages associated with them. It's up to us as security architects to determine the best approach for our organization. With an agent-based approach, a plugin is installed directly on the application. This plugin typically makes calls back to a centralized authentication and authorization service. Because the agent is embedded into the web or application server, it typically does not have additional processes to start or stop. With the agent directly on the application, it's very hard, if not impossible, to go around the agent. However, agents must support a wide variety of our web servers, application servers, and operating systems to meet the needs of today's heterogeneous organizations. In bigger organizations, large numbers of agents can lead to agent sprawl, making upgrades time consuming. When using a gateway, a separate process can be set up and maintained to filter the traffic. This reduces the need to install agents everywhere across the organization and gives the security team a centralized server to perform authentication and authorization. The gateway approach can prevent the agent sprawl problem. However, when using gateways, one must be careful to secure the communication so that only the gateway can communicate with the web applications or attackers will try and bypass the gateway to go directly to the applications. Gateways can also create challenges if the same name is not used outside the gateway as the actual web server. If this practice is not followed, one may have to rewrite links to the application or use the name of the gateway server. This rewriting can be expensive and is not always 100% reliable. Very often, organizations deploy both solutions for different types of applications or even combine the two to meet specific security needs. Whatever your preference, CA Single Sign-On offers both gateway and agent-based solutions to help you externalize your application security.